How folks just run with the ideal? In this video, we'll terminate a Cat5e modular plug on the end of a piece of Cat5e cable. To do this, remove approximately 2 inches of the outer jacketing and trim and remove the nylon ripcord. Next, lay the pairs out into four separate corners wherever they naturally lay around the outer jacketing. If you do that right, brown is opposite the orange pair and green is opposite of the blue pair. Next, pinch the conductors with one hand at the outer jacketing and untwist each of the pairs completely all the way to the jacketing, untwisting and straightening the pairs as you go, getting them ready to be laid into a 568B or a 568A wiring sequence. In this case, we're going to go ahead and wire in 568B. So go ahead and rotate the pairs until the orange pair is on your far left. And then working from your left, lay it in the 568B wiring sequence from white, orange, then orange, white, green, then blue, white, blue, then green, then white, brown, and then brown. The next step is to get the conductors all nice, tight, and flat, and straight. And to do this, we're going to pinch the conductors with one hand here and move all these pairs kind of toward the middle and pulling them straight out. And then manipulating the pairs in a couple different planes, we'll get the conductors nice, tight, and flat, and straight. The next step is to trim them approximately a half inch from the outer jacketing straight across the pairs. With the white orange on your left, go ahead and pick up the modular plug body with the gold pins facing you and insert those pairs into the modular plug, ensuring that they are fully seated within the modular plug. Then go ahead and terminate that with a modular plug crimping tool, creating a completed Cat5e modular plug. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ron with the Ideal, and I'll see you on the next one.